Welcome to another edition of Designing Spaces, the show that's all about you and your space, your home and surroundings. I'm Debbie Murray. Yeah, she is, and I'm David Jones. Today's Designing Spaces goes high tech with a look at some wonderful solutions to the digital lifestyle and to make your home a safe and secure living space. And that includes the home office. Maybe your home-based business is starting to take off and you need help with establishing your company identity. Help is on the way, and it's coming from a familiar name to just about anyone in business. Plus, we get to have some high-tech fun by bringing a new dimension to your home entertainment system. I mean, if you're into movies or gaming, you're going to want to see this, believe me. And do you want to learn another language? See. Si. There you go. You don't have to go to school. It can all be done at your own pace, right in the comfort of your own home. Some interesting technology makes learning more effective and efficient. Oh, and we have some new computer memory enhancements that will blow you away. So stick around and see it all right here on Designing Spaces. With so much of our lives going digital, we need a place to put all of this information, not only for storage, but for practical use. Storing, sharing, and backing up digital files can seem a little overwhelming. I got together with one of the leaders in the field to see some of the new innovations that we can use to manage our digital lifestyle better than ever. Take a look. In this age of digital technology, we use all kinds of high-tech devices every day. As a consequence, we create piles and piles of files, like family photos, videos, or documents related to household matters. We need to store, share, and manage these valuable files. So Designing Spaces teamed up with Becky Morrison. She's a senior manager of marketing communications with Verbatim, a leader in the field of digital file management. Becky, I'm so happy that you're here today. Well, thank you for having it's me. It's really Debbie. good. And you can see we're uh, at a home who has a typical home office. Many of us do these days. Mm -hmm. So I have to ask you, we all have so many things in our computers, our pictures, our videos, documents. How do we protect them? Well, I've got three different levels of protection that I'm going to go through with you today. The first is a USB drive. This is our tough and tiny USB drive. The great thing about this is it's made with a technology that fully seals all the components inside. It's waterproof, it's dustproof, it's shock resistant, it's extremely durable. The best place to use this is really for temporarily transporting files. So you have something that you have on your work computer, you want to take home or you want to share with someone. This is the best way to do that. Okay, that would be great for someone who has a home office and a regular office so they can transport the information. Yes. So the next level up is a portable hard drive. Mm -hmm. This is our Titan XS. It actually has a rubber enclosure and it's great for travel because it has shock resistance and it is the smallest portable hard drive in the world. This is actually 500 gigabytes and we have a 750 gigabyte coming out and a terabyte is just around the corner. So this can store a lot of files. Okay, that sounds wonderful. What does that mean? <laughs> <laughs> well, it means a lot of data. It okay. is over 125 hours of video or wow. about 170,000 pictures. Okay, so that would be enough for me. <laughs> yes, absolutely, absolutely. Okay. A lot of people have netbooks now or laptops that just have limited space. So this gives you the ability to have more space as well as back up your files. Now what's our third option? Well, the third option is a desktop hard drive. It is really meant to stay on your desk. It's not portable. It's for people that work in one place or have all of their files in one place. They can easily back up their files as well as using it for added storage as well. Okay. So now that we have all of our information, it's backed up, it's protected, how do we share it? Well, this hard drive here is our media share, and this is such a great tool. It, it has one terabyte of capacity, but the really great thing about this, it's a network server. So you can hook this up to the wireless router in your house, mm -hmm. so all of the computers in your house can access any of the files on the media share. Mm. It has an easy transfer button here. So say your sister comes over to your house and she has some new videos and pictures that she wants to share with you, mm -hmm. and she has a USB drive. All you have to do is plug it in, push the transfer button, and it automatically transfers them. So all of her information is gonna go right onto your computer? Mm-hmm. 
that's really easy. <laughs> really easy. Yeah. So then, um, so all the people in your house can access all of the files on here. But then say you want to share the files that your sister just gave you with your mother who's across the country. Okay. So all you have to do is create a photo album on online on the software and you can email your mother a link. That's incredible. How easy. The really great thing about this is that you can access this data anywhere in the world with an internet connection. Okay. So you just have to log on to myverbatim.com right. and you can get all of your files, everything that's sitting in your house. Right. You can access all of the files. It's really easy. Now you said we can see the information that we have backed up anywhere in the house. You meant any other computer, right? Well, you can view it on any computer or any other device that's connected to your wireless network, such as a gaming system. Why don't we go in the living room and I'll show you. Really? Okay, let's go. Debbie, here we are in the living room now, watching the same slideshow that we were previously watching mm -hmm. in the office. So all of this content is streaming through our gaming system directly onto the TV. So that comes in handy because you don't have to drag everyone into the office. You can sit comfortably in the living room. Exactly. One of the other great things, all of the features that I've shown you so far are included in the standard subscription. For a small annual fee, you can upgrade to a premium subscription. Okay, and what does that include? One of them is access to all of your files through your smartphone. Hmm. I have an app here on my phone, and now I'm able to look directly through the photos as well as streaming music and videos from the media server, again, immediately in the palm of my hand. What about if you're on vacation and you're taking pictures? Can you send them back to your friends and family at home? Absolutely. You can automatically upload them right from where you are, send them to all of your friends right. so they can really feel like they're with you. So they can sit in their living room and see the slideshow of what you're currently doing overseas. <laughs> Absolutely. That's really handy. I like it. That's a great feature. Okay, now that we have all of our information, all of our pictures, our videos, our documents, they're all backed up and we were able to share them, where do we buy all of the verbatim products that you spoke about? Well, you can visit your major retailers, but the easiest place is just go to verbatim.com. That is easy. Well, thank you so much for being here, really explaining all of the products and explaining how to use them as well. That's really going to help us, and we do want to protect all of our precious music, Absolutely. our videos, our documents, our photos, so mm -hmm. we appreciate that. Thank you so much. Thanks for having me. And for all of you, if you want to see any part of the show today, we covered a lot, or if you missed any part of the show, please visit our website at designingspaces.tv. Okay, so let's go over this website. I want to see some of the pictures that we have on here. Today it was a good show. I feel like I've got caught up on some of the latest technology that will affect our homes and lifestyles. And you know what? We have even more coming up in the near future, but our next show is going to take us in a totally different direction. Don't miss it. Until next time, I'm David Jones. And I'm Debbie Marie. We'll see you later. Bye-bye. For more information about anything you've seen on today's show or to find out how to be part of the show, log on to designingspaces.tv. Follow us on Twitter at twitter.com slash dspacesTV or friend us on Facebook. Type in the words Designing Spaces. You can visit these websites to learn more about the participants on this edition of Designing Spaces.